Okay. I've never read it for so long. Well, I'm Sarah Danes, and I'll be 99 years, the 1st of December. And all through my life, I've thought of the teachings of my parents when I was very young. We moved out to Battle Creek, and it was where the big battle with the church or Indians were fought, was fought. And they have a monument down there that tells all about it. And there's a big canal that goes through over a ways, and we lived above that canal. And my father built a, it was a log home, and my father built a chicken coop up on the hill. And one morning, before dark, uh, it was still dark, he heard the chickens making a, a lot of noise, and he went up there to see what the problem was. And there was a wildcat in the chicken coop. He didn't have a gun, so he went to the neighbors, and they had a gun and came and shot it. And they stuffed it and hung it up. And then uh, when Dad was working the hillside, it was so steep, and uh, there were these big blow snakes. I'd never seen one before. They're big, but long. And Mother wanted me to take some apples over to the neighbor, and I started to cross the road and there's a big old blow snake across it and I came running back and says I can't go because there's a big snake over there and at night I, I dream about the snake there's no place I could get that that snake couldn't get to me and so she sat me down and she says Sarah I want to talk to you I want you to know that your heavenly father loves you and he wants you to be a good girl and if you'll pray to him every night Whenever you go out or whenever you feel you need his help, pray to him, and he will help you. And I testify that that's true all my life. I've been a very prayerful person. I've had many miracles happen because of it. And then, what was the other one? Your dad. Oh, and my father. I always would say, well, he would, we had to clear a big farm it was 50 acres or eight, I can't remember, and we cleared that sagebrush. It was only five acres under cultivation. Dad would pile the sagebrush, and we'd pile it in big piles, and we'd pile the rocks up. And see, I was only about nine, ten years old then, and that was quite a job for us. And then we'd burn in big piles of sagebrush, and it was fun to watch that. And then at night, we'd go home and He'd build a big fire and popcorn, and we would have popcorn and play games. We played lotto. It's a lot like bingo, but it's uh, numbers, but it isn't the same. And so we didn't mind working because we knew we'd have fun at night. And then, let's see what else. What did your dad teach you? What poem? Oh, the poem he taught me was, if you have a task to do, Never leave it till you're through. Be the labor, great or small. Do it well or not at all. And he said, now remember, when you do it well, your Heavenly Father knows it. And don't compare yourself to someone else. Just do your best. So those two things have been a guiding influence for me all my life because I knew I needed to do everything well. And I knew that Heavenly Father was blessing me so that it gave me a peace of mind. And when I was 94, my little grandson, great-grandson came in the bedroom. I was changing shoes, and he says, had his arms folded and a frown on his face. He says, great-grandma Danes, I can't believe you're 94 and still alive. <laughs> and I says, well, I can't either. <laughs> but anyway, I every time I see him. He says, oh, Grandma, how old are you going to be? And I says, I don't know. And he says, I bet you're going to be a hundred. So, now what else? That's good. That's good. <laughs>